Hi everyone, and thanks for joining me today at this uh, different time this week. So usually I come to you at uh, seven o'clock on a Monday evening, that's a mountain time. But last night was our granddaughter's sixth birthday. So not only was it a holiday Monday here in Canada, but it was a, a birthday party that I couldn't miss and it was lots of fun. And I couldn't help but think that um, a birthday party is a little bit like a new catalog. So so there's all the excitement looking forward to a new catalog and then there's the excitement of getting product from the new catalog and then there's that period of contentment as you play with new things. Um, so last night it was exciting at the birthday party but I heard from the birthday girl's mom this morning that she was just having a very contented morning playing with her new things and I thought yeah that's so much like us. So let's look down at the desk and see what what I'm sharing with you today. Okay let's see if I can get this flipped down. And here we go. So yes, today is the very first day that you can um, order from the new mini catalog. So this catalog goes from actually August to December. And what it does, I'm just trying to get the computer set up here as well. Sorry. And so this, this catalog focuses on the things that are happening between now and December 31st. So um, it would be like your fall types of things, your Halloween, your Thanksgiving, um, Christmas, that kind of thing. But lots of the items can fit um, different occasions too. They, they're not locked into the one that you're just thinking about. Sorry, I'm just getting the last thing set up here. So hi, Karen. So glad you're here. Um, so first off, this is the catalog and I love the cover. And now we can actually show you inside. Now you're saying, what are all those tabs? Those tabs are things I want to show you, but I'm going to show you at another time. I've got samples for every one of those tabs. So as I was preparing for today, it was also a bit like a birthday party. I felt overwhelmed and I couldn't decide what to share with you. So I'm going to narrow it down and do a little bit today and then some more later on. So here's the mini catalog and then there's the celebration. So there are three things I want you to be aware of before you order from the mini catalog. Number one, if you or any catalog, if you have an order and it doesn't just have to be from the mini catalog, it can be from the annual catalog, it can be from the clearance rack. But once you hit that $60, then you have earned something free from celebration. So that is really neat. I don't know about you, but I love free stuff. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Marilyn. Welcome. And there are all kinds of things. And then you can up it and up it. So just shopping for yourself, you can earn extra free things right now. And you're saying, what? Celebration? I thought that happened in January and February. It did. But for the first time ever, we we'll also have a sort of a summer one. It's August and September to September. Um, so it started today and then there are things in here and I'm, I'll show you a bit more about them. So most of them are things that you would earn for free with a $60 purchase. So look for that free, let's see, there's a little glare, that free word and that's the item. And then it shows you how to use it and maybe even things that it coordinates with in the annual catalog. Love celebration. Yes, Karen, I do too. I just, I just love, love, love it. So then uh, there, uh, there's also a few things that you can earn if you spend 120. So this die set here actually coordinates with the stamp set in the annual catalog. So flowers are always a hit. And so if you have this stamp set, you might want to get this free die to go with it. There's one other thing that's uh, worth uh, if you, you can earn it with a $120 purchase, and that is this stamp set here. It's absolutely gorgeous, and you can see it in action. So, so that's one of the things I want you to be aware of. As you're going shopping during August 
to the end of September, um, be aware. So if your shopping cart has $55 worth of things in it, for $5 more, you could get a free item. So you might want to consider um, maybe buying some adhesive or some cardstock or something and just bumping it up. Uh, if you don't want to, that's fine. But I like to watch for that so that I can take advantage of all those kinds of little extras. The other thing that, so number two is if you host a party. Now, you, this is COVID, so it might not be a party that it's in your home, but if you collect some friends to, and collect orders from them, or if you, I don't know why I'm going like that, sorry, uh, I just talk with my hands. Um, so if you collect orders that are, let's look at this, that are $375 or more. So they're all grouped together and you are the host or you can spend that much yourself if you want. Um, you can then, you earn um, stamping rewards. So you still earn your regular stamping rewards and you can see that in all the other catalogs as well. But over and above, you get this fabulous stamp set here in your own words. I don't know about you, but I can never have enough word stamps. And these are amazing ones. So that's something that you can earn over and above your regular stamping rewards. And you're hearing me say over and above quite often, extra. That's that's what celebration's all about. You can get extra stuff during celebration uh, for the same price. And then the third thing that I want you to be aware of is the starter kit promotion. So the starter kit is always your very best deal in the catalog, whether there's something extra offered or not, because you get $165 worth of product for only $135. You get to choose what that product is. You, you, It can be whatever you want. Just put it together and stamping up doesn't it doesn't hold you to any obligation. So you can do that. Um, just just do that. So if your order is close to uh, 135 or above, you might want to consider this. But even more so during celebration, because during celebration, yes, you get $165 worth of product for 135 And then add on to that. Plus, these here are bundles, some of the bundles that are in this little, are uh, in this catalog, pardon me, the mini catalog, and you can choose one of those and add it to your starter kit. And they range in price from $42.25 to the most expensive one is $81.75. So that really adds to your starter kit. Now, if you're like me, all this Lillian ga uh, gabbing away here doesn't mean a whole lot. Sometimes you like a visual. So I thought that I would just look at this right here. So he this caught my eye and I thought, what if I put those things into a basket? How much would it come to? Well, I didn't have all of those things. For example, I didn't have this one right here, this set. So I substituted some. And let me show you what that basket looks like. So here it is right here. And it is very full. Okay, so let me just take this down and lower things a little bit. And... So this is one very full basket. So what do I have in here? I have the, um, oh, I better look at this because I will say it incorrectly. The Whimsy and Wonder Specialty Designer Paper. So the specialty means there's something extra, extra. So it's got shine and glimmer with it. So there's the, the uh, specialty side like this. Let me just keep going. And even those little ornaments, aren't they gorgeous? And then there's the other side, and you can see that I've been playing with this. So this is not the, the non-shiny side, but still pretty exciting paper. So you could get all of that. So that would be one thing that I've put in the basket. 
And then if we did the uh, whimsical um, trees bundle, so that would be, so the paper's worth $20. The whimsical tree bundle is worth $70. So it's this a great set here. So these trees don't have to be just Christmas. They could be other things. And um, some, some great words as well. And then these dies. Now, there are actually... Let me just see, 13 dies, but look at all of the, the different dies there. So little stars, little ornaments. I love these little trees here. So that's maybe a little bit hard for you to see. So let me just show you how that works together. So there's this that you can decorate trees with. There's your stars, ornaments, um, baubles tree outlines which also fit the stamps look at all the detail in these trees here and then this tree here fits the polka dots and look at this isn't that neat so that's what the dies do so that's what that is so I that then we have these wonderful die cut snowflakes and they are laser cut. Let me just see, there's a tissue behind so they don't catch. And so they look like that and I use that on the card. So those are the are 825. So you see, I, I'm gradually adding to this. And then, so here's what, how the, that was used and like that and then this is a little the little three by three and an eighth by three and by eighth acetate boxes so if we put a package of that in if we put some of the ribbon in so this ribbon here is the wonderful blushing bride frayed grosgrain it is so pretty and when they say frayed you know i tend to think of really frayed but it's just a little bit of sort of fluff on the end edges and if you like to uh, alter your ribbon and it really pulls and comes apart easily too so there's there's that now i did not have the um uh, diamond weave ribbon that they showed so i just substituted this for the visual effect so the, two things of ribbon they had the mini jam jars so if you had the mini jam jar and they uh if you noticed here what they put in it, they put some ribbon and uh, um, twine and all different things in there and did the little tag um, like that. So I tried to recreate that. So I cut out, this is from the specialty paper. This is using the stamp set. This is using the ribbon and the mini jam jars. So if I could put that in there, so if I got that and then so all of that, if I got a package of mini jam jars, all of these different things, that would equal $164.75. So I am only uh, 25 cents off of the 165. But now there's no shipping and handling and no GST. And because it is celebration, I could add another bundle. So I don't have the most expensive bundle in the book, but I have this one. So I could add that. So let me just, uh, that's just a lot of stuff, isn't it? So if we figured that all out, and if I had remembered, if I had the most expensive bundle, that total in merchandise alone, would have come to two hundred forty six fifty, uh, with shipping and handling two hundred eighty four seventy one, and you get it for only one hundred thirty five. So look at the savings you get there. So just something that I want you to be aware of. Uh, you do not. I'm not trying to pressure you or anything. I just don't want you to say, Lillian, why didn't you tell me? And so I'm telling you. That's. Uh, the best deal of all there. So um, using those things that I had in there, I'm just going to share a couple of, of things that I did. So here is one sample that I did. This is using the specialty paper here. And I used the little trees um, from the dies and the Merry Christmas is from the stamp set. So there is just one Christmas card made with that. And then I've got the in color just to um, gems just to add a little bit of 
excitement. Um, so here again, I was using those trees and I used the snowflakes. And here's what we call a mini slimline card. So here is our regular size card. And this one is slimmer. And it's so it's finished three by six. So that's why it looks a little bit different. So there is that one there. And then I took, um, I just have to grab it here, wherever I put it. Here it is. I took this image here, and I was inspired by another demonstrator, uh, but it still it works out. Here's one more mini slim line. So here it is right here um, with that ribbon and um, like that. Now, where did I get this designer paper? Well, that designer paper is one of the celebration papers. Um, it is called, ooh, now I've forgotten the name of it. Let me just see. Beautifully Penned. So it's in the celebration catalog. It is all black and white. Um, and you get 12, 12 by 12 sheets. They are like this on one side. And then they're, so it's predominantly black with white accents on one side and now this side is predominantly white with black accents and you get four of each of the three different designs and so that was what I used here so that's that's a little bit of celebration in action there and so uh, speaking of celebration, I wanted to at least show you one thing from the celebration catalog and make it with you. And now I can't even see where I put my celebration catalog. Uh, oh, here it is. No, it isn't. Okay, I will grab one more. There are three things. I've, this, I've got so much writing in that one. I'll grab a different one. My working catalogs, I write all over them and uh, keep, write myself notes. But there are three things in the celebration catalog that are only while supplies last. And everything else, if even if they go on back order, you will be guaranteed it. But three things are only while supplies last. And one is this paper right here. Now, it's called the Bedazzling Paper. And it is bedazzling. It comes six by six, and it seems to catch all different kinds of lights. Some of us were trying to decide, is it gold? Is it champagne? What color is it? I don't know, but I know that it's gorgeous to work with. It doesn't shed. You can punch. It takes a little bit of extra effort with your punching. Um, you can die cut. Now, it does give a warning here that cutting, cutting glitter paper can dull your dies, but you'd have to cut an awful lot. Um, but that's one of the things that is only available while supplies last. The other thing that's only, there are three, so that the other thing that's only available while supplies last is this die set here, and I'm going to be talking to you more about it. I, I love it, and it goes with this stamp set, so we'll talk about that in a minute. And the other is this die set right here, is only available while, while supplies last. Those three items um, can uh, actually end up with... Um, um, what are you going I'm sorry, I just saw a message come up and I'm not sure what it was all about there. Um, those items are harder to get shipped here and so that's why they are like that. So let's make a card using that cute, cute sheep stamp set, counting sheep. And um, let's bring this in. I, I always chuckle when I see counting sheep because when my husband's trying to um, distract the granddaughter, he'll say, let's close your eyes and count sheep. And up until a, a year or so ago, she would fall for it and she'd close her eyes and start counting away and he'd have a snooze. But anyway, so that's the, that. And then you have the um, die set 
there are there's so much in this die set. So there's the sun and the balloon. There are the three sheep, the fence, clouds, all different kinds of things. So again, let's just see them already cut out. So here we go like this. Now, I think these sheep need names. Anybody ready to uh, name these sheep? Any Any names for them? For some reason, comments are popping up, so I'm just going to wing it anyway. Um, and this one here, to me, has real attitude, and that's the one we're going to work with today. And I don't know if you can see, but the fence even has embossing in it. So lots of fun there. So let's put that to the side and bring in, this is the card we're going to make. I'm going to change up the color of the balloon in this, but it's basically what we're making here. So we'll bring in some thick whisper white that is five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. So we've got our, our basic card like that. Then we have a piece of basic white and I've run it through this embossing folder. It's a new one, the Timber 3D embossing folder. And um, here is what it looks like. So I just wanted it to be a little bit more interesting in the background. And I also kind of thought it fit with the the farm or the animal theme. Now I'll just show you, I also ran um, some of our foil paper through the same embossing folder and look at that, isn't it gorgeous? Um, I just love it. So there we go, like that. So we've got those two things and you know what? They can be glued together right now. So let's do that right now before I move on any farther. So we'll glue those two together and make sure that we're somewhat straight. There we go. And now I'm going to flip it over and give it a real good burnish on this side. Like that. So now we've got the card base ready to go. We'll put that to the side. Now I've uh, used a stitched rectangle and it's going to go right about here on the card. So all I'm going to do on here is stamp some of the grass. So I'm bringing in Granny Apple Green ink right here and I'll bring in the grass and I'm going to bring in a scrap piece of paper. Here's an old envelope that'll work and I uh, I'm going to stamp off once just because I don't want it really, really dark. And I'm going to stamp a couple of times. So notice how it gets lighter each time. Stamp off once. And okay, where will we go? That's likely enough grass, don't you think? Uh, I think so. So there, we'll go just close that up. Now what we're going to do is bring in the sheep and we're going to stamp okay here we go stamp the sheep in memento black because i'm going to color it with the blends a little bit just a bit to add some definition so like that there we go we've got that sheep isn't that sheep priceless i just love it and then for here I'm actually going to use um, a Coastal Cabana balloon. So what do you think while well, I'm coloring the sheep? Should I use Coastal Cabana for the words or Daffodil Delight? So blue or yellow for the words. Well, um, for some reason, I'm not seeing your comments. I don't know. So we'll we'll see. I'll see if I can see your comments, but tell me what color and I will start to color the sheep here. So I'm bringing in my color uh, lifter. I'm bringing in the light flirty flamingo, light um, basic black, and I had the light. Oh, I dropped it on the floor. That's where it is. 
the light smoky slate. So what I'm going to do first is with the basic black and I've changed my mind over the years and it's, it's just a personal preference. I'm going to use the bullet end and I'm going to color just the hooves. So there we go. I'm seeing some people suggesting colors, so that's good. I will get to that in a minute. So that's uh, the light basic black. Now the uh, flirty flamingo, the light flirty flamingo. I'm going to actually, I'm going to do this first. I'm going to bring in the light smoky slate and I'm going to color his face, but I'm going to leave it blank right where is her. I think she's a her with that kind of attitude there. And now I'm going to bring in some of the flirty flamingo. And you might say that looks pretty ghastly right now. And it does. But I'm going to bring in the color lifter. It also does, I call it a color blender as well. It just softens the edges. And then you have to let it dry. You're not going to see it right away. But it just softens it. And away we go. And now I am going to come back with the light smoky slate again and do the legs and the ears and then see where all these little little shading marks are i'm just going to go squiggly over top of them not being too exact and right now it looks pretty ghastly but again, if I bring my color lifter back in, it's going to blend it. And again, I, once it's dry, it's going to look pretty good. Or much better, maybe I should say. Pretty good in my eyes anyway. There we go. So now we've got it like that. And then, you know, you just have to add a little shimmer. I'm going to put some clear wink of Stella on the hooves. The, these guys have just been to have a pedicure or a hoof -a cure or whatever it is. Definitely not playing on the farm because they, they wouldn't have shiny hooves there, but the, it just adds that. So now we're going to bring in the dies and we're bring in the a die cutting machine. And we're going to put that down there. And I'm just trying to see where I put the dies in all of my rambling. Here they are. If you could see my room right now, I'm just really glad you can't. So now we're going to put the die over top. And once you've got it lined up, then you're going to use something that's tacky, something that's going to peel off just to hold it in place. And we'll put the top on. And there we go. And I have to use my stomach to give it a push. Run it through. And now it's all cut out. I love how magical that is. So very gently pull that off and we've got like that now mine slid a little bit because i was in a rush but here's a more exact one we'll substitute that out so we've got this like that we're going to put this uh, little sheep on some dimensionals maybe three we don't want them to be saggy And I don't want that one right there because I want to slide the words in. I'm just going to slide that up a bit and maybe put a mini down there. So there's some support down there. There we go. And 
there. So I think I saw somebody say they wanted blue for the words. So let's do some blue word, blue words. Uh, I'll do it in black, but before I do, I want to bring in the um, banners pick a punch, and that's how I got this little uh, shape on there. So I'll slide my paper all the way in. This is three quarters of an inch wide. And you can make it, well, it helps if you unlock it, and you can make it as long as you want and then um, trim it after. I always like to look on the back to see, make sure it's kind of straight, especially when I'm working with a smaller piece of paper. And there we go. Now you could use your scissors and cut something on your own, whatever that you like. And... Here's my words. Now, because I've punched it first, I can figure out my placement because I want my words to be towards the end, the flagged end. So glad it's your birthday. There we go. Now, if I need to, I can trim it off with my scissors and my dimensionals are going to be in the way, but nobody's going to know if I've cut it crooked or straight, are they? Because it's going to go in like that. All right, time to finish making our card. So let's bring this in. And before we do that, we're going to put this on dimensionals. There we go. I always like to put at least one in the middle so that it doesn't sag when it goes through the mail. Nothing's worse than saggy embellishments and um, feature on your card, right? Okay, so we're going, I'm going to choose to put it down here. You could put it wherever you want it. So now we've got it like that. Now with this going in here, now this is on dimensionals. So I only want to put a dimensional here and I want to just put glue here. Otherwise, it would be sticking up. So let's see, I keep it in place, put a dimensional on the end, some glue on this side, and it doesn't have to be much. That one came out in a little bigger glob than I wanted, but it's still good. And tuck it in. There we go. Now we do have the balloon left. Where did my balloon go? Oh, I meant to show you what I could have done, which I didn't do, is we could have put the the fence behind too. That would have been a good a good feature. And here's my balloon. So for the balloon, I want it to be tucked behind the little hoof there so that it looks like it's being held. I'm going to put a little mini dimensional behind there. And I'm not going to worry too much about this. It'll take care of itself. And there we go, about there, like that. And the only thing left is to add a few dimensionals, or not dimensionals, a little embellishment. I'm going to use the Genial Gems and just scatter a few. Just adds a little bit of fun, and it to me it makes it just look a little bit special, right? We need confetti and things like that for, for a celebration. And there you go. There is... The card, now on this one here, I added a little sheep on the inside like that. So there it is in pink, or polished pink, and here it is in Coastal Cabana. So um, I hope that inspired you a little bit. And I would love to know when you're looking at the catalog, how do you look? Um, when I first look, I just sort of look at everything and then I look at maybe the sets. And then after a while, I'm looking at the samples and starting to see what in there works with what I have and that kind of thing. So um, take a good look at your catalogs. Look at all the little 
nitty pitty things, uh, nitty pitty, uh, nitty gritty things, uh, all the tips, that kind of thing. So, um, so you love all the samples. Ah, oh, thank you, Karen. Um, guess what? I have a whole basket of samples from the mini catalog. So guess what's coming in the next little while? More samples. So do keep, stay tuned and have some fun. So if you haven't got your catalog yet and you would like one and you live in Canada, please let me know if you live somewhere else because I know some of you are watching from other places in the world. Uh, check uh, your Check the internet and find a demonstrator near you. I'm sure they'd be glad to supply you with a catalog. Uh, the other thing is if you're ordering online from my online store, here is the hostess code right now on any orders less than $200. That would be great. So thank you so much for joining me and uh, take care. Next week, I will be back on Monday evenings. So have fun. Bye-bye.